What is going on, everyone? Mecca here with a with a brand new Blender video, and in 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 this video, where we're going to be continuing where we left off with the with the scene we were working on, be when where when we left off on, uh, uh, off screen, I I ended up doing a quick render, and and so this is the how the render came out. You can see it is very dark. Mm, I I did do some stuff off off screen. I I added a couple of rooms and I added some lighting, some like lighting. I think I set set it the lighting to to be about ten watts because I didn't want want it to be too strong, and um and I also added like a little display case right here. You can't see it in, in this render, but 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 you'll see it in 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 the scene. So let's go ahead and open up the scene. So I'll move this over here so you can see it better. And as you can see, that that's something else that I added. I added like a little, mm, little picture frame, and we're gonna work work with this some more. But but yeah, All right? And so yeah, this is the display case that I that I ended up put, putting together but basically what I did is that is that I went over to to the to the to the home builder assets and I create, created like a this simple cat cabinet and then I deleted the 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 top part and and so I kept that and then then I create and then I added added a simple cube and and let me actually go into object mode and select it and I can go back into edit mode so you can see it okay and then I just created a cube and then I did, did an edge loop and and rotated it and I just did edge loops over and over again until I got it into the shape that I needed to be in and then once I had edge loops that were mm, that were symmetrical with each other on both sides I I just extruded and created this this uh, glass for the for, for the actual glass shader, I I I ended up using the 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 same texture for for the mm, same like shader that that the that room builder can, comes with for, for glass, and I also created a a, a little glass shelf in inside, which was just which which was just a simple plane, and I extruded it uh, just a tad to to give it like more of a thick thickness. And that's pretty much all I did. And oh, I can also show you the rooms I made. I using Room Builder, I created these walls and I added in this floor. And then for the for the lights, I just used used the default settings. And the only thing I changed changed was I set it to ten watts because at the, at the default setting, it, it it was way too high. Because we 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 want this to be not so strong of a light because this is this is this is an old old building so we I, I we, we didn't want like a really bright light okay and so for this this I all I did is I just just did some extrudes yeah pretty much I just did some extrudes and I'm I'm actually gonna make this a little bit thicker neither this frame a little bit thicker because we, we need to make it more realistic and you can also see that I added like a little shelf area like a little not not really shelf area just, just like a like just something to create some marble because if we look at the reference image you can see right right about here you can see that the bottom is like like a type of marble type of thing and and you can see it's like a type of marble right here and so I want to do 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 the same thing on these to that it's just personal preference that's I feel like this would look really good if I did it like that okay and so I actually also want to add in those little shelves those little pillars so to do that what we're gonna do is that I'm gonna let me go back into object mode, select that, go into edit mode, and 
what I'm going to do is create a loop cut. If I could get it to there, there we go. Bring it down to here. Why does why does that come up? All right, I I don't know why that popped up. Put down another one. I don't know why that's popping up. That's never actually happened before. <laughs> And then, let me think. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just do it, do it that way. Okay. So then we're going to do right here, right here. And I will do, let me actually add another loop cut. I could get it there we go that's where I want so like right about you know what actually because I want it to be per the same so I need it to be using my measuring technique <laughs> And let me pull up that reference image again so I can see where else. Okay. It looks like there's one right there. And let me zoom in a bit. Uh, I'll leave that and I'll just do, do it on the corners. And then there's one right, right there, and I'll just do, do one right there. Okay. So we're gonna do the same thing, but my frame is way too big, so I can't actually do it there. So instead, I'm gonna do it right here. And it's like right about there. And I'll do another one. If I could get it into place. So it's like right about there. Okay. And now I need to go back into object mode and select this. Go back into edit mode. Move this down right here. Move this down right here. And move this down right here. Because it's about three of them. There we go. Oh, that, that pillar is in the way. <laughs> so like right about there. And then on the other side, there's another one. And let me just look at where it, it actually is. So like, like that, okay. Yeah, and I'm using my measuring technique again. <laughs> so I'll go into camera view and it's gonna be like right about there. So I need to go to object mode, select there, go into edit mode. Uh, 
like right about there. Right about there. Right about there. And it's like right about there. Like right about there. Okay. All right. And so now what we're going to do is go back to object mode. And I'm going to select all the walls that I need to extrude on. So that one, that one, and that one, and go into edit mode. That way I can edit all of them. I actually don't think I needed to do that, to do those extrudes. Oh well. Yeah, I didn't need that third third one. And then go on this side. Yeah, and that one's way too wide, actually, but whatever. And then we're going to extrude that. If I can find the thing, it's right there. And we're going to extrude it out. Want it to be just enough that, that it's not... And I'm going to change to, the, to this one, because I like this one more. And that's as far as I can get it. Okay, and now I'm going to need two loop cuts. I'm going to need one like right about there. Well, actually three. Right about there. As far as I can get it. Same thing. Same thing. Right there. Oops, nope, not, not there. Right there. Oh, damn. Of course, it goes in the opposite direction. Duh. Oh. Okay. No, not extrude. Loop cut. And I'm just going to leave it, make it super wide, because whatever. All right, now enter face selection mode, and I'm going to select each of the faces 
that I want to extrude. What happened there? Oh, that's what happened. I forgot to do, do a loop cut there. Could have sworn I did one there. Okay, now I can do it. There we go. Okay. All right. And now the last one. The really wide one that I screwed up on. <laughs> okay. Then we're going to extrude it. And they all go up. So like right about there. And of course this one is different. So I'll move this one down. Like right about there. And then we're going to need a loop cut. There, I need one right here. Same right here. Okay, and now select those faces, make sure I'm back in here in this mode. Then extrude. And I'm going to have to fix that, but. I'm trying to get into a position where I can see how, how far it is, how far it's extruded. Yeah, that's way too much. Oh, it looks like I, I actually actually need to do that face also because I because the how this is working is that and actually I should actually do cut that that way it's it's only extruding that. So let me just make sure. That it's only extruding that. Yep, there we go. 
So now let's just collect it again. And that's the thing about working in, in interior scenes that you're working in very tight spaces. So that's why I keep accidentally going through through the ceiling. Oh damn it. Am I going through that? Yes I am. So I need another loop cut. All right, now it should be good. Nope. Let me just see. Nope, I'm still not there. Okay, now I should be good. Now there's a little bit of a space, but you're not really you're, you're not going to notice it. I just don't want to be going, extruding that part. And again. Same thing. Nope. There we go. And I have to select it all over again. Now it should be good though. Nope, still, still, still not there. <laughs> There we go. Now I'm good. There we go. Now I can extrude it. And again, I'm just going to do it a little bit. That way I can do it the other way.
I could get into position. There we go. Now I know it doesn't, it's not perfect. And I do need to fix this, but that's perfectly fine. Yeah, this one's a lot better. Okay. Now that that's done, we have our little pillars. And so what we need to do now is that we need to actually do a couple more loop cuts because <laughs> we need to make this look more realistic. So we're going to enter at engine word again. We're going to loop cut, but this time we're going to loop cut like that a couple of times. I want one right there, one right there, one right there, and I'm using my finger again to fingers again to measure. And then we're going to do the same thing on each of them. Now the the the, the last one it's going to be have a, a a bunch more because it's bigger, but that's perfectly fine. Now what I'm doing is that I'm creating the the parts that we're going to bevel. And you'll see what I mean soon. Yeah, this one is actually a little bit smaller. We could just say like it it was a, de a design choice, but one right there, and another like right about there. One right there, and the ending one, like right about there. One right there. And the part we're going to bevel is going to be right here. This part we're not going to bevel. This right there. And then the ending ones. Okay, and now the other side, the really big one that I screwed up on. This one's going to have a bunch of them. Right about there. Right about there. There. Right there, and about there, and right about there. Yeah, this one has a lot of them. And uh, the ending ones. Okay. 
Now that that's done, all we have to do is select each of the parts we need to bevel and then bevel them, which is going to be very, very simple. Now for, for these, we're going to do a concave bevel, which is very simple to do. I initially was was confused on how to actually do it because by default, Blender does does bevel in the opposite direction because that's the typical way you're going to bevel, but we want to do it in the opposite direction. So let's select all the ones we're going to bevel. And now it's the big one. And I will use this one as a reference so I don't have to look back and forth. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do control B and and it looks like it didn't bevel. Okay. I guess I'll have to do it the old, the old fashioned way. Just click bevel. Segments. Hmm. I always have problems with with bubbles. Then P. Ah, uh, you know what? I'll I'll just leave it. Just leave it as as is, and just would have looked looked nicer if I was able to bevel, but looks like it's not going to let me bevel. Oh well. Let's try and do it on uh, this one, actually. So first off, I'm going to mm, select these. Make sure I'm not in bevel mode. <laughs> I'm going to go scale. Like right about there. Then we're going to do a loop cut. Right there. Right there. Right there. And right there. I know the topology is really bad, but whatever. And then we're going to select the squares that we're going to, the very bad square. Let me just actually fix that. Make it more of a perfect square. There we go. Okay. 
And we're just going to line these up with each other. Okay. I think that's good. Select those edge, that perfect square now. And then move that out. And let's try and bevel it. To be as close as we can get. Yeah, this one lets me bevel. And then we're going to go into normals, auto smooth. Okay. Looks a little bit weird because of that. So let's try and adjust that. Let's try and clean that up. Hmm. I know it's not going to look that good, but That side looks good, but this side doesn't. No, uh, I'll just leave it. You're not going to be able to see it that, that, that well anyway. Okay. And so, also, I'm going to go into ed edit mode and select, select that face. Go into the materials. Add a new material. And I'm going to call it a painting. I'm going to add this, add an actual painting to this later, but uh, just to Im improve this. And I'm going to assign it. And then we'll put, bring up the material node. And bring down the roughness to zero. And the clear coat up to one. And that automatically looks better. And actually, I'm going to do the same thing to that. But I need to select only that. So this is going to be a little bit tricky. I'm not going to do the side because you're not going to see that. And I'm actually going to do the same thing for the, for the painting on the other side, but I'm going to do that off screen because we are at 40 minutes, so we're almost 
mm, at the time that I like to stop. So this is going to be the last thing we, we do in this. And I'm going to assign it. There we go. Yeah, you can't even see see the bad part, but and so it looks pretty good. And that's going to do it for this for this video. In the in the next video, we will be adding some I guess we'll be adding some more lighting. And we can also probably add in those trophies. And then probably work work on the stairs or something, but that's going to be if for this video, this has been Mega, and I will see you again next time.